I remember 22nd of May 2016, I was in central India and I was scanning through the news in the morning. And then I saw one article that had some kind of headlight with the UN International Day for Biodiversity. And I have to read it again. And I thought, wow, what kind of day is this? This is a perfect day to raise awareness about biodiversity. So with the four hours that we have and the small amount of resources, we made some posters and then we went to a waterfall that was full of tourists. I couldn't really stop thinking about this day and the success that we had in only four hours of planning. So when I came back to Sweden in the beginning of 2017, I couldn't really help myself. So I contacted Erik Hansson, who is the man behind a big nature website in Sweden. And I wrote something like, hello, my name is Rebecca and I would like to really highlight this International Day of Biodiversity. Um, and what if you and I could contact different NGOs and networks and just encouraging them to participate somehow in this day and together we could highlight it. And he said, yeah, what a great idea. And so we did just that. We emailed and contacted different people, people we never met and different big NGOs and smaller NGOs, everything from Friends of the Mosses to bird watching clubs to WWF and telling them about this day and its existence. And soon we got we started to get really positive replies, like this is a great initiative. Of course we would like to join in. And as the time went, the list of activities grew. And this was a huge celebration across Sweden. And the result was overwhelming. It's not something that I could have done uh, alone, but together with different NGOs and different really committed people, we managed to get this day its proper attention. And then when the day finally came, we have been reaching more than 190 activities in Sweden. And this has for real become a real celebration of biodiversity. And this is truly amazing because it's, uh, it's thousands of people that is committed in this topic. And it's finally getting the attention it really needs and deserves.